guys, it's Leek, back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing something that I've always wanted to film, but I never had all the supplies for it. Sorry, I'm stuck on a cough drop right now. I'm dying. Um, but I'm doing an all drugstore tutorial. I'm really excited for this. I went out and got some things just to make sure I had a product for each and everything. I cannot believe I don't own a drugstore foundation. Or I used to, but I don't anymore. So I went out and bought a lot of things. And I'm really excited to try all these products together because I've never used... I've never ever done a full drugstore tutorial, so I thought I would do one today for y'all. Um, it's been a rough week. I am so sick. I, I have my tea brewing right now. So hopefully I can get through this video. I'm, my voice sounds good. It's been sounding on and off kind of all day. Hopefully I get through it. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. And if you want to see all the products that I use and how I incorporate them in today's look, Keep on watching. So I think one of the hardest things was trying to find an eyebrow product that I really liked from the drugstore. I haven't tried like a pencil or anything. I don't really like pencils. I really like gels. So I was wondering because I used to use this a lot. Like it's it's gone. And this is Bella Pierre Cosmetics Stay Put Brow Gel. And I got this in my Ipsy bag. And I looked this up and it's around 8 bucks, which to me is definitely a drugstore. I just don't think it's in any stores. I think it's online, like eBay, Amazon. But this is around eight bucks. The most expensive I think I saw it was nine, and the most and the cheapest was seven. So I'm gonna say it's around eight dollars to get this. And it's just like an Anastasia. It's just a little dip brow. I'm gonna use my Anastasia brush to do it. Well, part of the reason why I stopped using this is because of how thick it is. But that thickness is what keeps it on all day. Yeah, these are very dark and thick, but this is what I used to use all the time. <coughs> so for concealer, hopefully not a shocker to you guys, LA Girl Pro Concealer. $2.99, I think everyone has heard of this. Um, they're amazing. Let me show you how many I have. Including this one, I kid you not. Oh wow, hit myself in the face. I kid you not, one of the best concealer consistencies ever. So what I do is I squeeze, some people use it straight from here, some people will put it on their hand and then use it. I just squeeze out enough to get it like that and then I'll just scrape it off with my concealer brush. And then I clean up my eyebrows. Well, there is no drugstore eye primer. Um, I didn't show you guys a primer for the skin. Because, like in other videos, if you notice, I don't really use primer. I use a facial spray. Or I moisturize and then I use a facial spray. I've never really been the type to use a primer. Now for foundation, there are a couple drugstore foundations that I've tried in the past that I like. I really like the Milani one. That one's really nice, but they don't really have just the right shade for me i really want to try the la girl one but for this video if i wanted to film it today it had to be something that i had to go buy and la girl is not in stores it's an ulta but they do not have my shade unfortunately that's one thing about drugstore probably why i don't buy very much drugstore foundations is because they have a very limited size so like and you guys know that i love the fit me powder they have this in my shade but i don't like the shade in the actual foundation so i decided to try out the wet well foundation this is five dollars and i really hope that caramel medium deep warm is my shade it looks like it's pretty accurate the one after it was way too pink so oh wow it comes with a spatula that's crazy i'm gonna i'm gonna try this out helps eliminate white particle reflection like flashback so it's good for flashback i guess this is like a photo foundation that's interesting so i'm gonna Put it on my face. That looks pretty accurate. Ooh. Le just looking at it, I feel like this is going to be full coverage. Even though it doesn't say... It's cruelty free. It doesn't claim on the bottle if it's full coverage or medium coverage or anything like that. So I always put a little bit of foundation under my eyes because like I said, that's my problem area. I've had dark circles since I was like 10. It says, Your Skin Only Better. Our new high-performing skin perfecting foundation underwent major road testing under seven different photo lighting conditions to deliver flawless camera-ready skin. And it's taking forever to load, but let me start to... 
Well, that's a really good well. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, so it says specially made with a matte light diffusing complex to give your skin no filter. Hashtag no filter perfection. High performing breakthrough formula. Good for flashback. So it has four and a half stars, it looks like, on the website. Um, but wow. High performing, no filter. I hope that's right. So this color is perfect. And it's matte, which I don't always get excited when I see a matte foundation because I do have dry skin, so I try to stay away from matte foundations, but if they look natural, that sort of helps them out for me. This is really nice. This looks like my skin. I like this. It's a really good match too. Looks like skin in person. I'm really, really impressed with this foundation. Like. For $5, I think I might like this more than Milani, and I haven't even had it on for 5 minutes. But, now I'm going to use the same thing, LA Girl Pro Concealer underneath my eyes. This is the shade Cool Tan. Like I said, I think I said this in the other video, I've been staying away from sponges lately, and it has changed my life. Like, brushes are so more convenient, or a lot more convenient to use. Wow, this concealer's bomb. Alright, so now, using the same LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toast, I'm going to contour my cheeks and my nose. But look at that. Look at how nice that blends out. Pretty much done. Look at that contour. Done. Powder, of course, Fit Me 330. My favorite drugstore powder. I just bought a new one. It looks so good! And then I just go underneath my eyes and make sure it looks bomb. This foundation looks really good on its own, though I have to admit, like, it reminds me of the Fenty Beauty where it sort of sets itself because it just looks so locked in as soon as it's on. Alright, so for eyeshadows, of course, well not of course, but it was difficult for me. I do not own one drugstore eyeshadow palette now that I think about it, um, but... One of my favorite cheap brands, and I am absolutely going to call this a drugstore brand. You can disagree with me because you can't actually go buy it, but ColourPop, <laughs> I'm screwing the top back on. ColourPop eyeshadows are 5 or $6, I think, for one really cheap, about the same as one L'Oreal or one Maybelline eyeshadow. And then the Carly Bible palette. I bought this when it first came out, so it looks rough. But this is $12, I believe, or when I bought it, it was $12. It might be about $14 now. Um, but it's still really good for a drugstore palette, and it comes with highlighters in it. So I'm going to be doing a throwback and using my Carly Bible palette and then a couple ColourPop eyeshadows for my eyes today because that's the best I could do. So I'm going to use Cornelius in my crease, I believe. Yeah, I am. I'm going to use Cornelius in my crease. I'm going to go into the second darkest purple shade. Um, I'm going to blend that into the outer part of the eye. I would also argue that Morphe palettes are drugstore because they're $22 for 35 eyeshadows. So, I'm going to use the beautiful 3502. Whew. And I'm going to go in with this rusty orange shade. I'm just doing something real simple on the eyes. Okay, I'm going to go back to the Carly Bible palette and I'm going to use this gold shade right just here. Just in the front. My favorite drugstore blushes. Just zoom you out a little bit. Are the Milani blushes, the Milani baked blushes? I think these are a little pricey. For highlighter, I have two options. I have the Maybelline Master Studio. I love this highlighter. So, these are kind of similar. This one is a little bit more pinky, so I think I'm going to use my Master Studio. ColourPop liquid lipsticks are my favorites. These and Anastasia liquid lips probably, those of colors. But these, drugstore wise, 
these are six bucks I have a mascara in this is awkward I'm gonna use speed dial it's a nice little nude oh wet and wild this is the color wow it's chestnut I'm gonna lie how that said chestnut real quick. I know a lot of people were comparing this to the Better Than Sex by Too Faced. Um, I don't think it's that great, but you know. <gasps> Are Dale Wispies my favorites? I don't think I use any high end lashes. They're all either Dodos, which I have a code with. It's Angelique Vasquez. I'll put it on the screen. That's my Dodo lashes code. Or I use Ardell's, or I've had a few Eyelores that I love, but Dodo and Ardell's are my favorites. If they will stay, looks like they don't want to stay. They're on backwards! <laughs> Okay guys, and this is the finished look. Lashes are on. It took me a while, but I finally put the look together. I'm so happy with how my face came out. I can't believe I did a full face of all drugstore slash affordable makeup, and it looks bomb. What? What? I'm at 121 subscribers. I need to get to 250 by my birthday, you guys, so I can do this giveaway for y'all. I'm going to say if I don't hit 250 by my birthday, then let me hit... 500 subscribers by the end of the summer. I also have 5,000 followers on Instagram. Crazy. I want to reach levels on all my social media platforms so that I can get to know you guys and get to know all of you. I've been getting a lot of comments lately, which I love. But I love that you guys have been more involved with me lately. My Disneyland vlog hit 1,000 views. That's crazy. You guys love my vlogs. My vlogs get the most views. They get more views than my tutorials. Um... But it's cool. I'm going to let that slide. Yeah, make sure you thumbs up this video. Comment, subscribe. And if you want to take it there, turn on those post notifications for some more leak in your life. Alright. And oh my gosh. My hair is still in a braid. That's cute. It's cute in a braid, right? But I want a ponytail. So let's just not. Let's just not do that. Alright. So turn on those post notifications for some more leak in your life thumbs this video up if you want to see more drugstore products in my videos because I honestly think I might start using some more. Alright, see you guys in the next one. <laughs>